In November of 2002, the government of Israel decided to uproot IDF camps from populated areas in the center of Israel and to relocate them to the Negev Desert, which will soon prosper as the area becomes a hub for career army personnel and their families. Ben Gurion himself said every time, we didn't finish yet our job. We started to build, we didn't complete. I think it's one of the most important moves in our history. The new National Military Training Center integrates seven training schools. Approximately 90,000 soldiers will train every year in the new training center, which is named after the late Prime Minister Ariel Sharon. Upon completion, the Sharon base will have a capacity of 10,000 trainees at any given time. The military training campus is no less than revolutionary. For the first time, IDF military schools will share ideas, instruction methods, facilities and activities. Moving to the south, this is part of making Ben Gurion's vision come true. This is probably the most significant change in the Israeli infrastructure for the next decade. It's about modernizing the IDF. It's about training differently, do it in an effective way. In our time, to be a pioneer, well, this is to be in the IDF and moving to the south. It's uh, actually to build a city here in the Negev. Bringing seven bases into the training center from different disciplines will make a huge change in the way they work together in the field. You bring to the field soldiers that they are much more qualified. The Sharon training base is a trigger for so many circles of a new vision for the Negev. More employment, more schools. The traffic system is going to be changed. Call it making Aliyah to the Negev. As a former soldier, officer, the chief of general staff, I have great uh, appreciation and admiration to the friend of the IDF. It's very moving. You know that you as a paratrooper, as a soldier in the Suez Canal in the attrition war, in uh, Lebanon during the first Lebanon or the second Lebanon war, knowing that someone somewhere from far away, in a place that you might don't know, does care about you. It's more than material support. It's about the moral support, which is so appreciated by each of us. Never hesitate to dream. Always have a vision. Always have a dream. And the larger the dream is, it's more realistic. I would like to thank, from the bottom of my heart, the people of the FADF. Without you, it could be, you know, much more difficult to make this vision come true. Bring your friends, bring your families, to see this miracle in the Negev, and to help us more and more to make the Zionist vision come true.